whenever I get an opportunity to visit any law college, and especially when it is the beginning, I always prefer it that the interaction should not be one way. Because you all are not just the law students. We all are students of law. Whenever you treat that who is a student of law, any lawyer, any judge, or any professional who is going to opt for the legal profession, he has to continue with the education. Unless you continue with the education, you continue your learning, you will not grow in the profession. As a judge, you may not perform. As a lawyer, you may not perform. As a prosecutor, you may not perform. So ultimately, the primary requirement for any professional of law is that he has to remain a student throughout his career. So when I am treating you all as a student, I am also part of it. We all are learning and this learning has to be continued. When I came for the first time in this institution, I observed that you all have very multifaceted talents. I saw Sarasti Bandana, I saw some cultural program. Then I also noticed that the young girl who was enlightening the lamps, he said, I am not going to participate for the photo because he was not comfortable. But in my opinion, young lady, you should never say no and you should not be uncomfortable in any situation because we all are going to be law professionals. As a law professional, you may have to handle all kinds of cases, all kinds of matters, and you may need to interact with so many other persons with whom you may not find yourself comfortable. Like mediation, whenever we sit with someone, divorce cases, children are fighting, parents are fighting, sometimes bank and clients, sometimes you may not feel like that I should not be covered in camera, I don't want to be part of any video. It may happen. And rightly so, because you are not that experienced. But ultimately, you have to realize that when you become a successful lawyer, and then in any particular matter, if you have to be interviewed, or you have to face the camera in the interest of your case, or maybe in the interest of your legal fraternity, maybe for the purpose of knowledge of younger members of the bar, or maybe for the students. You can't say no. And yet then you get the opportunity, you will not find yourself comfortable. At that point of time, not feeling comfortable will be a disadvantage. And that disadvantage will uh, be very, uh, I can say, grievous. So you must participate in each and everything. You must be comfortable in each and everything. Suppose somebody is talking about something in which you are not comfortable. But suppose the same person is your client and the client is referring about his own life or his own case and he is talking something which may not sound sense in your personal life. That doesn't matter because you are going to represent your client. So ultimately the one suggestion, especially from my side, that you should be comfortable and a lawyer has to be friend. I was thus talking to the faculty members prior to coming to this hall and I said that I can just by appearance I can notice and I can make out that whether the person is from the legal fraternity or not. Then they said how I said the best way is that if you say hello to a lawyer he will respond to you. He may talk further but if you say hello to a scientist he may say like this and sometimes he may ignore you. So sometimes your professional demand, your professional requirement and also the choice of your profession may also lead to certain things. Like suppose you are a teacher, you may start behaving differently. If you are a lawyer, obviously you have to interact with everyone, you have to make your clients comfortable, then only they will talk to you. If you are not making the other person comfortable, then how he will interact with you? It's very difficult. So when you all are here as a law student, First of all, you must enjoy your college life. I never say that you should not enjoy. This is the part of your life and this life, college life especially, is not going to come back again. The moment you become professional, there will be so many other problems 
or other challenges in which you have to deal with diverse situation you have to meet with different kind of persons and personalities and ultimately you may also find that the persons whom you dream that person is one of your client this happened with me also i when i was a young student we used to admire amitabh bachchan we used to admire so many other film stars but later because of this profession they had to visit us we interacted with them and after so many interactions we realized that actually i could not have achieved this if i was not a lawyer so becoming a lawyer and then the art of communication becoming yourself or making yourself friendly with each and every person until you are not uncomfortable uncomfortable is very dangerous statement especially in the legal terms if a girl complains that i am not comfortable we will immediately uh, refer that case to gender sensitization so there is something very serious happening so that is the one lesson i will like to give you to all the students though she is a very good medium today because i observe her so because of that only this was the first thing which i wanted to refer otherwise you are a very impressive personality you should not uh, uh, feel that i actually i tried to uh, take advantage of that particular situation so you should not be uncomfortable even if somebody is criticizing you you should welcome them that is the first lesson from anyone to a student like suppose we are appearing in a matter in a particular court and the other side is criticizing other side is filing counters he is referring he is arguing something and they are just countering my arguments that is a learning at the same time we have to prepare for rejoinder you will not just go for fighting we will prepare our own counter arguments to nullify that argument to get the results so that is the basic purpose you see i have interacted with so many top lawyers when i joined the profession the profession was not that rosy when we joined the profession it was treated that the persons who were useless worthless not capable of doing anything else they will become us despite being a good student despite qualifying for class 1 examination when i opted for this profession the my parents were shocked they thought that i am making a blunder and i may not be successful or they some of them they started saying he is a bad fellow he got a good job he has a good career and despite everything he is leaving and he is joining this legal profession but if i you talk to them today everyone will appreciate and they will say brother you only did the right thing my friends who joined ias my friend who joined other services they will be retiring at the age of 60 and at that point of time my career will be at peak and that will remain on the peak till i die healthy if i am not healthy i am not fit i can't do it that's why i advise you all to play badminton to play tennis to play some game not gym i don't advise young students to go to gym i advise them to play sports going to gym means there is no competition you are observing yourself you are self obsessed you are doing exercise and you are happy that yes my muscles are good i am having good time but if you are playing a sports you are losing a point you are gaining a point you are countering the brain of other player and that's why badminton is the game of lawyers and i invited the company of late mr ramjit khani whenever we used to visit somewhere especially in few destinations even in plane he will be very comfortable sometimes the plane is the normally we used to travel in charter so whenever used to say we i used to be uncomfortable but he was sleeping and then he will open his eyes again he will close so one day i asked her why he was so comfortable we are all scared it was bad weather and all this and small plane 
He said, you see, first lesson is that you observe the air hostess. If she is comfortable, there is no reason for you to become uncomfortable. <laughs> then, because pilots, you can see in chartered planes, they are just, they are also very cool. It means there is no danger. So why to get scared when the experts are sitting there and they are comfortable? He was also fond of badminton. Every morning, he will be ready till the age of 94 and he will go to the badminton court, he will play. Obviously, he used to play doubles, but he was very comfortable. He, was, he used to like the young members playing badminton. He had a very good badminton court in his Bangalore and which was open for everyone. Anyone who wanted to play, they can just have badminton racket and they have to enter and they will have tea, coffee, biscuits, everything that is free. That is for the encouragement and then also the company of uh, company of great Mr. Ram Jetpalani. We used to enjoy that. The only problem was the evening. In the evening, he used to enjoy his drinks. I was a teetotaler. So whenever we used to go and sit with him, he will refer, Why you are a big man, you don't have anything. Why do you win? I used to say, sir, I never tested, I never tried. At least test once, I said, sir, I will do certainly, but I will do it alone so that nobody can force me to take another sip. And next time I will meet you, then I will tell you that I did, did I like it or not. Then he will narrate some of his jokes. Generally the same joke every day, every, every evening the same joke is there and we have to enjoy. All of them used to laugh. But one great thing I had started admiring about him that if he commits any error, any mistake, he used to admit it. He will say immediately sorry. Normally we all are a bit shy when we say sorry. Many of us must, you all have been to some college and thereafter you are here, you all must be having some of the friends with whom you are not talking today. You are not at talking terms. That is not a good idea. Even if you are not at talking terms with someone, settle it. Finish that. Because this life is only for few years. Thereafter you are professional. You may not meet anyone who is present in this hall after few years. Some of them may be at some place, other persons may be some other place, different professions, somebody a law officer and ultimately the circle what you made as your friends that is going to pay you for the profession. Because they will refer the cases of their clients or their near and dears or friends to you because they know that you are a lawyer and you are practicing here. If you are a judge, obviously you will not like to be referred by anyone. But if you are a lawyer, obviously you need those friends. And when a person is coming to meet you for the first time, at that point of time, he should not feel that you are meeting a stranger. Unless you talk, unless you start dealing with the other person immediately, you have to engage into talks. Make him comfortable and talk to him so that he shares everything and then you can prepare for your case. If you are not able to do it, you may not be a successful lawyer. Then you may be very good for any uh, this uh, law firms. Because law firms then they will use your services, they will use your uh, talent which in which you may be comfortable. Because you are not talking to others, so client will not be like to interact with you. And sometimes very top clients who comes to a lawyer's place, who come, goes to a doctor, who goes to a lawyer, they don't come to visit you at their best. They come to see you when they are in their worst. Mostly. Some emotional problem, some financial problem, some other issue. So when at that point of time you are not able to pacify, if you are not able to make them feel comfortable, then you are not a person with whom the client should be left for interaction. It happens to my office also. One junior will interact with the client, client will keep coming and he will keep paying you fee also. Another junior interacts, client runs away immediately. 
and he will never visit you again. So sometimes what happened after a particular period of time, I started realizing that if they say client didn't turn up, I said that who interacted, Mr. So and so, they will say yes, he interacted. Because I started knowing my team very well that yes, because of him, because of his interaction, he is not here. So best thing is that make everyone comfortable. Like there are cases in which you say, kuch nahi ho sakta. He is already in problem, you are saying kuch nahi ho sakta, he will leave you. Other thing is that sir, you see the problems are there, but we will try our best. And I think there is some merit and God is also there. Client may be with you and you may try your best and sometimes intended result, sometimes the relief, you get it. So it's not that you all have to be very sharp, you all have to be outstanding every time. You see most of you have the equal claim. The person who qualified for IAS, the person who is the Supreme Court judge or a person who is just a public prosecutor or a person who is just a district judge, they all began their career at the same mental level. Hardly 0.0001% people are extraordinary. They may not join only legal profession. But when you start growing in life, then your conduct, your capacity to learn and how you are dealing with it, that is more important. Many persons, they ask me that, what is the working hour, sir? How many hours I have to be in the office? I say, sir, I don't see my watch because I don't wear it. You may have to start early in the morning. And the time when you are about to depart, some client may come and you have to stay again. Because this profession is not bed of roses. It has a lot of money, but first five years is only hard work. And that hard work is going to establish you in the profession, in life, and ultimately what happens after 10 years of practice, 15 years of practice, when you start doing well, mostly your juniors will be working on the case. You may enjoy. But for the first 15 years, when you have to work together, when you have to focus on your performance, at that point of time, you have to be very careful that you don't need to only deal with the client, but also you need to deal with your educational and grasping capacity. At the same time, you have to deal with your senior. And also, when you go to the court, suppose senior is not there, you should be able to at least brief the case. You should be able to at least argue the basics of the case. And if he raises a query, you should be able to respond it. Like many juniors, when they go, they go to observe you that how sir is arguing. But if a judge asks a question on which I did not intend to respond or I did not had an idea that yes, this is, I have to, judge may ask this question. At that point of time, if a junior just opened that page, and say that this is the pace. You will start appreciating it. You will never forget that video. Because you don't know that which junior is working how, but the moment the opportunity is grabbed by you and you had actually performed in a particular matter, you will be appreciated every time. Then there are few judgments. Many of you, because you all are already have done graduation and coming for this three year law course. So legal drafting is not a very difficult preposition. I always give a very this uh, familiar example. You all must have read a story. You all must have seen a movie. So when you see a movie and you at home when you are there and you enjoy the movie, somebody is asking, Yaar, kya tha story mein? Kya hua? But you don't take more than five minutes. So a film of three hours, you finish the story telling in five minutes. So giving the essence of the entire story in five minutes is called synopsis in legal drafting. It's very easy. Then there is a list of dates. 
अगेन दूसरे भाई गब्बर कब आया था बसंती को क्या हुआ था ठाकुर को क्या हुआ आप ये सब सीक्वेंस बनाते हो दैट सीक्वेंस इज दिस एंड देन वाई सपोज वाई गब्बर वॉज एग्रीड विद ठाकुर एंड वाई ठाकुर वॉज एग्रीड विद गब्बर वाई दे हैड दैट काइंड ऑफ यूनिवर्सिटी अगेन यू विल से सम रीजन एंड देर इज ए पर्टिकुलर रिलीफ दैट रिलीफ इज प्रेयर and then you will ask that what are the questions why this happened which law they violated why they were wanted what errors they committed that errors are question of law so it's very easy the only thing is that every time you will not get a story like sole you may get a very boring story and you have to treat this as a interesting one and you have to prepare it the way You are expected to prepare with the full involvement. Like someone wants to leave office at 8 p.m. and you say 8 p.m. client is sitting here. How can he leave? Say, sir, my family is not comfortable. They say, being lady, I should come at 10 a.m. and I should leave at 6 p.m. <laughs> you will not get a good assignment. nobody will object to it they will say okay you start working this other person other person who is lesser competent than you he may not be that wise as you but because he is present there and he is working he is dealing with the client so he has more information than you about that particular case so you are assisting so all these young students first of all you don't belong to any gender you are neither female nor male you all are lawyers If you were not lawyer students, there was no occasion for me to come here and speak in this gathering. So you all have to remember this fact that you are not a girl, not a boy. You don't belong to a particular gender, neither this, any community, caste, creed. You all are legal professionals. You all are going to be recognized by your bar council license. You all are going to be recognized by the matters in which you appear. Sometimes in a divorce case, a male appears for the lady, and a lady appears for the male. It doesn't matter. So you all have to realize this particular fact that whenever you are going to work, you should be ready to work hard. Then the issue arises that for the stipend, many of young students they call us, sir, stipend will get what? what should i respond because initially when hari salve was working with soli sorab ji for years he could not get a single penny but he was son of late mp k salve who was the minister top chartered accountant so even if he is not getting paid a single penny it doesn't matter but for the young student like us if somebody say that i am teaching you i am guiding you that itself is your remuneration i will uh, not stay in that office because i have to eat i have to pay rents but for the young students at this i pay but i don't pay in the first month if you are impressive if you are good if you are performing and if you are comfortable then only you will be assigned a responsibility then only you will be eligible to be paid like suppose i am going to appear in a matter not only me any office you all are going to join even if you go with your parents you take care of them so if you are going with a senior who is a elder person who is a senior person but he is busy reading the file meeting with the clients conferences and everything it's your responsibility to see that whether all the arrangements have been made or not you have to book the dining table you have to book the conference room you have to get the seniors coat gown press or the laundry laundry will come and press it or they will they will do dry cleaning whatever is required so when senior is actually getting ready he will not find any discomfort and at that point of time he will decide yaar ye isko hi leke aana hai इसने जो है पूरी विजिट को अच्छा कर दिया और क्लाइंट के साथ भी ठीक किया क्लाइंट के साथ भी अच्छी बात की 
then only you will be start being paid so after when you are offered 3 months internship or long term internship or maybe internship like many students who are in third year but they are with us for the next two years till they complete their law and they are being paid and not uh, just uh, paid like telling we are paying them so that they can meet out their entire expenses and when we are paying them as students obviously when they qualify when they complete their education and they become lawyers there is obviously they will be paid better than what they are getting now the duty of lawyers most of us even as a young students you all must be part of legal aids and you should participate whenever there is a legal problem there is a legal issue i have time or i should certain it if it people are getting more here not a time you can also sir people will not get a chance to hear from you again please <laughs> so the duty of all of us is to giving back the society and how to give it back you are studying law the first year you are dealing with the consumer paper visit one or two days in consumer courts read judgments and after reading judgments you may start guiding at least the primary lesson what is deficiency of service because we all are consumers at the end of the day sometimes you feel kare yaar bada bekar ladka tha yaar din bhar ghumta tha to bada acha kar raha hai career mein और पैसे बन रहे हैं उसके यार लॉयर्स तो ऐसे ही होते हैं ऐसे भी बोलते हैं कई आई टेल देम दैट ब्रदर व्हेन यू वेयर जस्ट रीडिंग द बुक्स ही वाज रीडिंग द सोसाइटी ही वाज मीटिंग डिफरेंट पीपल ही वाज इंटरेक्टिंग विद डाइवर्स पर्सनालिटीज एंड पर्सन फ्रॉम द डाइवर्स बैकग्राउंड हिज वर्ल्डली विजडम वॉज मोर देन यू and because of that whenever he is dealing with a particular case he can correlate very easily you all must have seen slum dog billionaire movie many of you and you find in that movie that ultimately that young boy becomes billionaire or he wins that competition for one reason that whenever a question is asked he correlated that particular question with his real life experience and he answered and because of that answer he succeeded people say how can you respond to all this he must be copying he must be using some device same thing with the buyers whenever you walk on the street you go to a restaurant you meet any uh, educational uh, institution head or you meet any uh, movie star each and every time you are learning something and you will find that all these situations are actually coming to you when you have joined the legal profession as a lawyer and you will find it very comfortable the moment a similar situation is brought to you abhi aap college mein ho aapka jhagda ho gaya kisi se maar peet ho gayi aap yahan par aapne deal kar liya settle ho gaya teachers ne bulaya faculty ne bulaya aapko data ke naam nikal denge school se aapko college se nikal denge aapne sorry bola dusre ne sorry bola kaam ho gaya मगर एक बच्चा उसमें से निकल के गया बोलता नहीं आई विल फाइल एट मिस कंप्लेट बिकॉज यू हैव यूज मी नाउ आई विल टीच यू ए लेसन सो द अनदर पर्सन हु इज अ लॉ स्टूडेंट व्हेन ही इज इन्वॉल्व इनटू ऑल दिस ही कैन यूज द सिमिलर सिचुएशन व्हेन एवर अनदर कंप्लेंट इज ब्रॉट टू हिम बट अदर प्रोफेशनल्स विल लूज मनी सो दैट्स व्हाई एक शैतान बच्चा जो लॉ का होता है ना वो समझदार बच्चा होता है और बाकी वही डॉक्टर है वही इंजीनियर है अगर वो इसमें फंस गया तो उसके लिए दिक्कत है सो आई एडवाइज यू ऑल दैट यू शुड बी फ्रेंडली यू शुड बी इंटरेक्टिंग विद एवरी वन इवन इफ यू डोंट लाइक द पर्सन यू इंटरेक्ट बिकॉज इन द सोसाइटी यू विल नॉट फाइंड ओनली गुड पीपल यू विल फाइंड ऑल काइंड ऑफ पर्सन टिल यू कैन बियर यू शुड डील विद द सिचुएशन and never hesitate in facing camera never hesitate in dealing with any kind of like a sports activities 
you may not be a top player, but participation itself is a great thing. You will meet people, you will know someone, there may be someone who is very good. And everybody is not expert in their area. A top tennis star can't be a top badminton player. A top badminton player can't play very good hockey. A footballer can't become a cricket player. Yam Batam may be exception. And even if you say that success depends upon luck or by chance, but you have to recognize, you have to realize that unless you have the skill, your chance will not work. In the cricket team, people say cricket is game of chance. But is it really a game of chance? It can happen once. Chance is only once or twice, not every day. A top player is top player. And you know that he will perform good. If he does not score, you get soft. So that's why your hard work, there is no substitute of your hard work. There is no substitute of your learning. You all have to work very hard. At the same time, very hard when I say, it doesn't mean that 24 hours. Very hard means, hard work means 3 hours. Your college, enjoy your college life, three hours your study, rest of the time is yours, whatever you want you do. If you are a lawyer student, because whatever you observe, you are learning. In other areas, the same privilege is not available. If you are an engineer, you have to read. If you are a doctor, you have to go to your lab, you have to attend the patients. But the lawyer students, you must participate in legal aids. You must read only three hours, but other things you must participate. If there is a non-participation, it means that is your non-cooperation to the profession. And if you yourself is non-cooperating, if your style itself is entering into non-cooperation movement, then the profession will also deal with you in civil disobedience. And ultimately you have to quit India. <laughs> quit India means quit the profession. Yeah, these are the three major movements of modern India against the producers. The same thing is part of your legal profession. Any situation you can take to your privilege, you can any adversity you can turn into your prospects, and humans are such that they are capable of spoiling also any capacity, any kind of opportunity. So opportunities has to be availed. The another thing I was discussing with ma'am, that when I joined the profession, because we belong to a very uh, humble background. My primary education was from a village, in which the school building was not there. And I studied there up to class 9th. Now we have all this and we have uh, get everything done. But when I was studying, even at, there was a time for one and one and a half year when there was not even a teacher. If I can achieve something, I am sure that you all are at better footing, you all are going to achieve much, much more than me. So whenever you say I am a first generation, I was also the first generation. And then this kind of opportunity was not available with us. That's why I was fond of library, that whenever I get an opportunity, I used to go and sit in the library. And I never read only law books. I tried to pick any kind of book, whatever I like. If you start picking the books from library, and you develop a habit of reading at least, then there will be a time when there is a need for you to study in a particular case for the similar hours, you will have no problem. But first of all, you have to develop that habit of pulling the book and reading it. And for that, the best thing is that pull a book of your interest. And then when five friends are reading together different subjects, you talk to them for 30 minutes. So even if you have not read a particular subject, you are aware about it. That is also your benefit. Baki to pura baat chalti 
वो करते रहेंगे झगड़े भी करते रहेंगे बाकी डिफरेंसेज भी चलते रहेंगे और उसमें कोई बुराई नहीं है सो आई वॉज रेफरिंग वेन आई ज्वाइन दिस प्रोफेशन आई रियलाइज दैट पीपुल हु आर मीटिंग मिस्टर जेठवानी दे आर सेंग हेलो राम दे आर एज इज हार्डली फोर्टी फाइव ही इज द मैन ऑफ एटी एट ईयर्स एंड यू आर सेंग राम मिस्टर फली नरीमन यू आर सेंग जस्ट फली बाई फर्स्ट नेम आई डिडेंट लाइक इट वन डे इन द इवनिंग ऑब्वियसली विदाउट ड्रिंक्स इन द हैंड आयाज सर आपको बुरा लगता नहीं आपको केवल राम बोलते हैं ऐसे फर्स्ट नेम से बुला सकते हैं कि अच्छा लगता है इज यंगर टू इवन यंगर देन योर सन ई सेज दैट यू सी वेन यू ज्वाइन द प्रोफेशन वी आर आर स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ लॉ टू एनी बडी हु हैज बिकम लॉयर वी आर आर एट द सेम फूटिंग वी आर आर टूगेदर सो इवन इफ यू रेफर मी विद द फर्स्ट नेम or you refer me mr jet malani whatever you say it doesn't matter i like being called ram because it keeps me young when you refer me young boy is saying like mujhe to koi nahi bolta hai koi aapko aise to nahi bolta hai normally chala nahi aaj tak but even if somebody is referring you hi hey hey friend hey dear whatever i don't know how you all refer but if you say this it should not actually offend you even if you are a senior person not with the teachers teachers you have to respect with us you can they all this so that is also one particular area in which you all have to respect your senior at the same time you should not feel shy if you have any difference and if you are having a friendly conversation you can very comfortably point it out that yes i have difference in this particular area because your differences has to be addressed your perspective has to be respected and everybody has different perspective so when your perspective is being respected then you will start loving you ultimately whether you love yourself or not that is also a very big question if you yourself don't love you if you yourself don't appreciate your deeds or your achievements no one else can achieve appreciate it so first of all you assess yourself that whether whatever you have performed if the similar acts is being done by others will you be able to appreciate it and if you are not able to do it then you must introspect because ultimately introspection is the best way whatever wrong you do if you have introspected you will find that you have all the measures within yourself to rectify them otherwise if you are not into the rectification if you are not into personality development if you are not into study if you are not into knowledge gaining then you may suffer with so many infirmities despite god has given you everything because god only can make you thereafter you all have to work hard so everything cannot happen just by arjun so i request you all that you must focus you must be part of your fraternity from the day you have joined this profession because when you go and to any lawyer's office you will not be treated as a first year student you will say first year i am a first year student so then i will ask that which paper what are the paper they will say Normally, five years the students they read only the subjects they don't study law. But you all must be assigned of some papers. If you have actually read two three judgments, then you have some idea. So all the first year students, you must read one judgment every week. You will get the list of judgment from Supreme Court O R examination site. Thus, type leading cases of. Supreme Court of Our Examination. You will get all these seventy-five eighty judgments. The paper in which you are appearing for the examination, you read those judgments. You may be able to understand. The best way of reading is divide forty forty pages into the friends. But first five pages, the last five pages, everybody has to read. 
the other pages can be distributed between the friends you can discuss with them your preparation will be faster it will be effective and without getting bored you all will enjoy that so ultimately when you are going to achieve success you will have lot of appreciation but if you fail even for the obvious reasons nobody will accept that so the failure means that you all have to fail your weaknesses you never read the word failure like this at the same time whenever you are in depression with the success of others you have to start introspecting that how i can give deep impression in the society and that point of time you will start realizing that the moment you are able to contest you are resilient to the situation nobody can check the way the path of your success so many other issues are there but ultimately there was a old saying in the sanskrit the five qualities of a good student tat chesta bako dhyana swan nidra tathai ucha krityagi alpahari vidyarthi panch pachcha because those days it was really need of the society because the students used to go to the ashram they had to study there and they had to serve the guru be it the son of the king or any king or paper whatever krishna sudama both the student together but nowadays the first three qualities are there because always always you are out of the home nowadays we also expect our kids that they will be calling us but first day when they go to college they talk to us even if they are staying in the hostel if they enjoy the hostel life that duration of their communication with us getting shorter by the period of their stay in the hostel first day one hour second day maybe 45 minutes gradually only hi hello and later sorry i could not talk to you that happens so greet yagi is now a fun kaat chesta bako dhyanam that you should do alpahari is again not good you eat well do some exercise in that term of sports and then you will find that ultimately your body is fit your mind is fit your companionship is there and you will enjoy your life again similarly the earlier is to say sukhartina kuto vidya vidyarthina kuto sukha sukharti va tajet vidya vidyarthi va tajet sukham means if you want this uh, kind of comfort you may not be a very successful a good student but again that has gone you have to do everything for your comfort so that you can study nicely there should be air condition in the library a proper table lamp should be there good food should be there you should have good milk at least all these things are required now. so so time and society because this was the phrase when when father or the king was sending his princes to the ashram they used to convince them that you see because you are going for the education you have to suffer with all this and because you are going to adopt a completely new family so in that family you all have to adjust the adjustment is also must there are few things things you may not like it but if that is the demand of the time you must do it i remember the sayings of so many great persons i note one particular poetry of sri mangal singh soman you must have read that many of you who have studied hindi at least you all must have read it kya haar mein kya jeet mein kinchit nahi bhavit mein 
संघर्ष पथ पर जो मिला यह भी सही वह भी सही सो वेन यू आर वर्किंग ऑन ए पर्टिकुलर मैटर इन द प्रोफेशन विद द इंटेंट ऑफ परफॉर्मिंग योर बेस्ट देन यू विल नेवर रिग्रेट अदरवाइज विदाउट परफॉर्मिंग यू विल से दैट पर्सन गॉट इट दिस मैन गॉट इट दिस गर्ल गॉट इट आई वुड नॉट डू दिस एंड दिस फादर इज सो एंड सो इज मदर इज सो एंड सो ऑल काइंड ऑफ आइडेंटिटीज यू विल डिस्क्लोज अदर थिंग फाइनली आई विल टेल दिस यंग लेडी बिकॉज यू आर द की ड्राइवर ऑफ टूडेज ओरिएंटेशन आई डोंट नो दे डिलीवरेटली कॉल यू आर नॉट आई डोंट नो बट हाले दिल छिपाने में मजा आता है आप ना भी पूछें तो बताने में मजा आता है ऐसा होना चाहिए आप तो कोई कुछ भी पूछे बताना चाहो तो बताओ और नहीं बताना चाहो तो भी बताने की क्षमता होनी चाहिए मैं आप जितने भी आप लोग हो आई डोंट नो आप लोग हिंदी में कंफर्टेबल हो सारे लोग कोई और लैंग्वेज किसी को आती है रीजनल लैंग्वेज कहीं की किसी को एनी अदर स्टेट भोजपुरी तो बिल्कुल वो तो अच्छी बात है लेकिन भोजपुरी सबके समझ में शायद नहीं आए आपको अपनी जो निज भाषा है उसका भी अभिमान होना चाहिए उसकी भी कोई बुराई नहीं है दूसरे की भाषा की भी इज्जत करो आपके फंडामेंटल राइट्स हैं मगर वहीं तक है जहां तक दूसरे के फंडामेंटल राइट्स में इंक्रोज नहीं है आप सारे लोग नौजवान हो आप अपने जीवन को बहुत अच्छे से जियो उसको एंजॉय करो और आप में से शायद ही कोई ऐसा होगा जो आज के पंद्रह साल बाद बीस साल बाद जिसके पास महीने का आज के हिसाब से पच्चीस तीस लाख रुपए नहीं कमाता लेकिन ये तब होगा जब आप कंफर्टेबल रहोगे जब आप लोगों से मिलोगे लोगों से बात करोगे सिचुएशन को समझोगे पढ़ोगे और सहनशीलता आपके अंदर बर्दाश्त करने की ताकत होनी चाहिए इफ यू कैन टेक योर क्रिटिसिज्म Then you can grow. अगर आप किसी दिन अपनी सुन नहीं सकते आप बढ़ नहीं सकते आप बड़े नहीं हो सकते पहला जो आपका गुरु है वो आपकी क्रिटिसिजम है पहला गुरु आपका फेल्योर है दैट इज द फर्स्ट टीचर बिकॉज ऑफ दैट यू स्टार्ट रीडिंग बिकॉज ऑफ दैट यू रेक्टिफाई योर सेल्फ यू इंप्रूव योर सेल्फ तो आप सारे इन बच्चों के लिए जो आप लोग बच्चे भी हो दोस्त भी हो हमारे हमारे साथ जुड़े भी हो बहुत सारे आप लोगों में से तो मेरे इंस्टा पे फेसबुक पे या फिर लिंक पे जुड़े भी हो आप लोगों में से इस कॉलेज से भी बहुत से बच्चे आते हैं इंटर्नशिप के लिए मेरे पास हर महीने लगभग एक हजार बच्चे होते हैं इंटर्नशिप के लिए वन थाउजेंड एंड दे आर डिवाइडेड इन टू डिफरेंट ग्रुप्स दे आर फ्रॉम कश्मीर टू कन्याकुमारी इवन सम ऑफ द फॉरन नेशनल्स इनिशियली आई यूज टू थिंक अरे बहुत ज्यादा नंबर है ठीक नहीं है But now I have started realizing that this bigger number is the biggest guru of these kids because you are in some college. You may not have got admitted into NLU. Someone is from very small college, but he has not seen Delhi. But here, when you all interact with each other, you get all the experiences, and ultimately your experience, your interesting communication with everyone, is the key to success. ये जो success है ना इसका जो ताला है वो हार्ड वर्क की चाबी से खुलना है अगर आपके पास हार्ड वर्क की चाबी नहीं हो ताले का क्या होगा तोड़ना पड़ेगा आपको आप बोल नहीं सकते तोड़ सकते हो ताला तोड़ के ताला बेकार हो गया तो योर गोल विल बी डिफीटेड सो यू ऑल हैव टू मेक ए की फॉर योर सेल्फ फॉर द सक्सेस आई विश ऑल द बेस्ट टू एवरी वन आई एम हैप्पी दैट Honorable Gupta sir has given me this opportunity to interact with you all, and you all have. If any time you all have any kind of question or problem, you can just send me a message. I may not respond to you immediately, but I will certainly respond to you on Saturday or Sunday. Because I treat this as an opportunity to return. We could not have the opportunity to intern with some good lawyers. We could not have the opportunity to learn from. some top seniors and we did not belong to second generation 
But for you all, I say only one thing that if you feel at any point of time that you are being deprived of something just because you belong to the first generation, then you can treat me as your first generation. And you all will not have any problem. Thank you so much.